What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to LTH. My name is Abe and in this series we are doing reviews of products that I would recommend for your home lab or I think that are a good bang for your buck. So in this episode, we're going to be covering the Unify Flex Mini 2.5 gig. I mean, this retails for 50 US dollars. Why I kind of wanted to go over this is because a lot of people are trying to increase their capabilities of their throughput of their bandwidth of their overall network. But you're trying to do it on a budget. And I feel like a lot of switches lack configurations or things at layer two where this switch offers a lot of those things. I'm also pro two and a half inch rack. And so this has some 3D printable 10 inch rack mounts that you can buy for this. And once again, Ubiquity being really renowned, um, there's always something on the market. So I actually went ahead and I printed this 10 inch rack for my um, server rack that we can mount this in and test out. Real quick before I rack this is it's just a simple five port, two and a half gig switch. Within the box, we have a power cord, just a basic wall power cord to USB-C, and then a user manual. Other than that, I don't see anything else in there. So I'm gonna get this mounted and plugged in and we'll go over to the computer and go over more of these features. Now that I have the switch plugged in, we can go over the spec sheet, which I pulled up here real quick for you. But a big thing is it's 12 and a half gigs non-blocking, 25 gig switching capacity. It supports VLANs, STP, port mirroring, flow control, jumbo frame, some of the basic things, but yeah. Pause this video if you want to go over that part. Software downloads are supported for this. They have the latest firmware. Also, if you'd like to download the application side and host this for yourself, you can download it for Windows, Unify OS devices, or Mac OS. If you would like to host a Linux server within your Proxmox environment, you can do that by clicking the Linux download link, it'll then send you to this page and you can follow the tutorial and have your own server at home. This is also an example of those. I went in ahead for the purpose of this video and I downloaded the Windows application version. And if you're going, what's the difference? The network application and the server are essentially the exact same thing fundamentally. It's just how they are hosted and served to your network differs. So I downloaded the application, I made a Unify account, and I logged in, and then it, it found the device on my network. Now you're saying this is on Windows, that's okay. When you save your settings, they will save to your device. And when you turn your computer off, if you go with the application version versus the server version, your settings are there. It's just if you want to edit or change any of those settings or push firmware updates to your devices, you'll have to boot this up. And so if you have a bigger network or a more lively network, you're probably going to run want to run the server. If you're doing this at home, the application may be fine for you. Now for us, we can see there's these tabs on the side, but within this specific network, there's only one, our Unify device. So I can go in here and this just gives you a slight overview of our device, it's uptime. You know, you can check for updates, insights, um, whatever. One thing I just wanted to point out that I thought was really cool is there's a locate feature. So if you press, excuse me, if you press this button, the uh, blue LED light on the switch will blink. So if you have a stack of servers or devices in your server rack or a network that you're working on, or you may have gotten contracted to work on and you're not familiar with how their stuff's laid out, you can use that and it will help you find these devices. Uh, you can also set static IP addresses, but the big thing with this device being a layer two switch is your uh, port configuration. So you can select by port. We can see I only have two things plugged in but you can name the port, activate it, disable it for best practices. You can target VLANs, allow all, block all, or do seem manual operations depending on what you wanna do with port control, isolation, spanning tree, 
etc. Uh, the big thing on here is you'd have to create a VLAN within your Unify network, but you can assign specific VLANs to your ports so you can do network segmentation. Um, leave. Over here, this would just give you an overview of all your VLANs and their IDs, and you can get an idea of what is set to what. And then up here, we just say, oh, all our ports are set to our VLAN 1. And then we can actually get insight as well on the network usage of how much is coming in and out and being transferred over our ports, which is good for congestion or network design if you uh, need to do that, right? And you can also see what it's currently negotiating at. These are just plugged into one gig devices. So it's just showing gigabit versus two and a half gig. But once again, they do have that capability. Anyways, that's it for this video. Super simple. I just wanted to give you an overview and an idea of some of the settings and things that you can switch on this device. But it is a super simple device. It is a $50 device. That's it. But it does support two and a half gigs and VLANs, which I thought a lot of you guys would value in a home lab. My name is Abe. This is LTH. Thank you for watching our brief overview of this two and a half gig flex switch made by Ubiquity.